Hey there Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentience. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your general mid-monthly reading for the remainder of March. Any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. Uh, I do have email readings open right now for $20.20. Any information you guys need on that, you can find it down below also. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to Earth Talkers Tara. I'm going to link his information down in the description box as well as um, the link from my new channel. Okay, you guys. So we are going to start off with some Oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, so we're going to do some Fairy Wisdom Oracles and see what we get. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you guys can see those. I will show them as I go over. We have the Dormouse as your overall energy card, at number 28. So this talks about the home, okay? Of course, this could also just be a feeling. Um, you know, home can be a feeling. It doesn't have to mean your house, the home you live in. We do have card number 9, Trillium, which is about something blooming. It's also about self-love. We do have card number 54, the Earth element. It's just a very grounded energy, okay? Um, we have card number 1, attitude okay so watching how you interact with others so um keep in mind that i'm not reading in a straight line here virgo so if it's not your message in the beginning you could stick around or skip around and you may find um, a message that is for you okay so let's go ahead and get started here i'm going to shuffle up this deck i have my son sleeping on my lap you guys <laughs> Sorry, it's a little awkward. Give me three for Trillium. Okay, we're getting the Lovers, Gemini Energy. We're getting the Knight of Swords, more Gemini Energy. And we're getting Temperance, Sag Energy. Okay, give me three cards for Earth Element, please. We're getting the Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. Okay. Get two more out here for that. Getting the Fool, Aquarius, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Okay, let's get three for Attitude and one for the overall energy. Three for Attitude, one for the overall energy. We're going to do the overall energy on the bottom two of Wands, Mars and Aries, King of Swords, Aquarius, and Page of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And your overall is going to be the Five of Swords. So um, a lot going on in the headspace here. Lots of swords. Um, so we have Venus and Aquarius with that card. Um, so there could be some kind of conflict in the home or some kind of conflict with uh, where it is that, you know, you reside. Like, I feel like this is somewhere that you, you know, when you think of the home, you think of, um, you know, dwelling, right? So I think that there's something here not literally like grieving over something kind of dwelling but it's where again it's where you reside all right so i feel like you could be in a little bit of a rut a little bit of a funk here with that five of swords energy let's move this over here okay um so the dormouse yeah there's something here about getting grounded where you are in the present moment because there's something that i feel you guys trying to work through you're really battling with some kind of emotion here is how that feels to me or some kind of confusion uh give me trillium we have the lovers there. So there's some kind of decision I think you guys are going to have to make. Uh, you're going to have to choose yourself in a situation is how that feels uh, with the lovers card showing up truthfully. So there is a turning point coming up here. You have the knight of swords. So I feel like there could be someone here who is very used to your lack of boundaries. Uh, so this could be triggering for someone. Okay. But I feel like you're having to release someone uh, in order for you to uh, be at a space of peace. In order for your soul to be at peace, you have to stop fighting for something or with someone. Okay. Okay, and this could definitely be in the home for some here, Virgo. What's going on with the lovers? The emperor. This could be an Aries or a father figure of some sort. Okay. Um, older masculine energy with that card. It doesn't have to be a male. Let's look at the knight of swords. Five of Wands, yeah. I mean, definitely, there's some kind of conflict here. There's something here that just brings too much conflict into your space, okay, into your life. That Emperor card, that is somebody who is very stuck in their way, somebody who is very stubborn. So I feel like you've tried to have peace. You've tried to have harmony in this situation. It's just not working, okay? It's just not working. Give me Temperance, please. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Give me one more, please. That's basically just confirming what I already said about, you know, your soul needing to be at peace. You needing to release this. 
take a different route here. Again, the lovers, it represents a decision or a turning point. You know, I feel like you're truly done fighting for something here. Ten of Wands, yeah, because you've been carrying this weight. All right, it's time to release that. There's so much pressure here that you're just ready to release and move on something new here. Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, things are going to start shifting in your favor as soon as you leave this situation here that's causing all this stress and anxiety and conflict in your life. Earth Element, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles, all right? So there is something in your environment here. Uh, in your physical environment that I feel that uh, you could be learning from or it's possibly mirroring something to you. It's reflecting something um, to you, okay, about yourself that needs to be worked through or that you need to break free from, all right? Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo, please. Ten of Pentacles. Mercury in Virgo. So again, I feel like there's something here, like I said, with dwelling. There's something here um, where I feel like you've been kind of walking in circles. It feels like a very, it feels like pacing, okay, um, in the same place. Yeah, that's how that feels to me, okay? And it feels like you're pacing in the same place. Ten of Pentacles is like a card of settling down, okay? It can be a card of the home. It can be a card of family. It just seems like you're not satisfied, okay? You're just kind of walking in circles is how this feels to me. Give me the, the full card. Give me the full card. Because while the earth element is a grounded energy, you know, sometimes you can be too grounded. Your feet can be planted uh, too firmly in one spot. When this card first popped out, uh, that Ace of Swords, I thought it was the Hermit. The Hermit can be a card of isolation, solitude. I feel like you're lonely for a lot of you. Give me the Justice card. And then we'll tie this together here. Give me the Justice card. The King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. So again, there's like a really cold, hot, cold, but at the same time, like hot-headed energy in your space here, Okay. And I feel like it's going to have to be cut out. You know, the Ace of Swords, you're going to have to give it a cold cut off here. Justice card, it's just what's right. You have to free yourself from this, okay? For others of you, if you've been waiting on money, I see that coming in, especially with this clarifying earth element, okay? Literally, Ten of Pentacles to the full card, financial freedom. There's going to be some kind of financial breakthrough that you've been waiting on for a lot of you. Of course, if you put the work in, it's not just going to show up, okay? Um, you have, of course, for some of you, it will, you know? Um, stimulus. <laughs> but... Um, you know, if you put the work in on something, I feel like it's showing up. If you have mastered your craft, whatever this is here for you, justice is a card of, you know, cause and effect, right, Virgo? We have attitude here as well. So this is all about, you know, watching how you interact with others. Um, but judging by the energy here, I feel like it could also be watching how others interact with you. Uh, watching the exchange is basically what I feel like saying with this two of wands here. You are in control, even if it does not feel like it. At this point in time, that's Mars and Aries, okay? Mars is Aries' natural ruler. That is a young emperor so they don't want you to really you know i'm kind of feeling like the emperor on the lower polarity where he's very controlling you know not somebody who um you know is a leader who takes action who is a provider whatever you want to call it here i don't really feel that off of this emperor i feel like reversal kind of emperor vibes here okay i feel like this is somebody who is just very controlling very stubborn stuck in their ways and very hot-headed okay so basically what they're saying here with this two of wands card um they don't want you to stoop to that level is basically what i feel like saying here but the two of wands is also you know a card of he has the world in his hands here you can see this from any angle that you want to see it from you know uh, you are in control maybe you're not in control of the things that happen but you're in control of your perspective okay and that tells you where to go next give me the two okay knight of wands yeah i feel like you'll be moving away from this energy here queen of cups yeah intuitively you know you have to do this i think that your uh strings have been pulled here in a situation cancerian energy by this king of swords give me the king of swords please Give me the King of Swords, please, for Virgo. I feel like that for a lot of you, I feel like this person's in your physical environment. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of arguing. And there's part of you that feels like, 
you know, you have to stand up and I get that totally, but there's something here. It just really drains your energy. Like it's impossible to live with or to work with, to be around whoever this energy is. You're just going to have to leave the situation because Queen of Cups, that's telling me that you are very empathic. You absorb this, okay? You don't set boundaries with your energy, although you try. Um, yeah, you just, you don't end up setting boundaries with your energy. You end up letting that get in, okay? It gets in your body and you absorb this. Give me the King of Swords. Give me the King of Swords here for Virgo, please. Five of Swords, yeah. Venus and Aquarius. So yeah, by giving this King of Swords energy the cold cutoff, this is going to fizzle out. Give me one more for that. Five of Pentacles. All fives here. It's going to be a major change, I'm telling you guys. Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. Um, you know, this card is connected to the hair font, Taurus energy. It's a card of the home. I feel like some of you, you're definitely going to be leaving the home or someone else is going to be leaving the home. There's going to be some kind of separation that takes place here. Fives represent, you know, chaos, conflict, change. This is a very specific reading, but it's what I'm getting, okay? Um, and it's going to be a hard transition. It's going to be a hard move, but it's going to be worth it, okay? I truly feel like your soul is going to be at peace with this transition. Give me a page of Pentacles, please. Nine of Swords. Um, Mars and Gemini. So yeah, it, again, it's going to be stressful. We can grieve over ending things that are bad for us. Okay, we can grieve over that because it's something that I feel was a part of you for a while. Seven of Swords. It took a lot from you. You invested a lot in it. Didn't get a lot back. Okay, the Death card. Okay, but it's inevitable. This has to end at some point, you know. You have the Seven of Pentacles here. It's possible that this is what's causing delays in your life, okay? Saturn and Taurus. If this is for you, you're going to know, okay? Don't make this fit, please. Please do not ruin something good trying to make this fit, okay? I want to I want to repeat that because these are general readings. They're not for everyone. Not everybody needs to leave somebody that they live with. But this is that's pretty much the gist of the reading that I'm getting here, you guys. Uh, somebody's taking from you. They're draining you. They're combative. They're argumentative. Um, yeah, and I feel like you absorb this energy. You take it on, and you are becoming this energy. You're, you're becoming this person is basically how I feel here, okay? So the death card, that's saying that this has to end, okay? This has to end. All right, so uh, that's what I'm feeling here for you guys. You know, do what you will with this information, but I, I delivered it, all right? So I hope this was helpful. If you want something a little more tailored to your energy, again, I have email readings open uh, right now. So all that information is down below. This is where we part. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.